Tonight we're going to encourage you to support locally owned businesses. As you all know, I've been advocating for that here on The Plush Life for seven years, and I live that life in my daily life every day. Whether it's a product for yourself, for your home, or a business-to-business -business item, we really need you to consider locally owned businesses, and that's why we are headed over right now to talk to Dave Asher at Buy Nevada First. So, Dave, obviously you've been an advocate of buying local for a very, very long time. Let's start out by just talking to the viewers a little bit about what the significance and the importance of buying from locally owned companies um, and local vendors. Well, thank you. I join you in that cause. Here's how it works. When you support a local mom-and-pop independent business, typically their supply chain is from other local businesses, and the profits stay here. With the chains and the franchises, they have everything come in from out of the area, and they have a certain percentage of their profits and franchise royalties leave the area. So the economic multiplier of the profits from a local business stay in our area and change hands two to four times, helping our economy and helping create jobs. So oftentimes when I talk to people about the difference between buying buying their coffee at Starbucks versus going to a locally owned coffee shop, they'll say, well, Starbucks is employing all kinds of, of people here in our town and, you know, I think I'm supporting a local company when I go there. What's the difference? The payroll is true versus online shopping with no payroll, mm -hmm. but the local, again, the supply chain from that local coffee shop, they probably bought their cups from somebody. They probably have a local insurance agent, a local marketing agent, do the local banking, whereas the chains don't, and then the profits leave the area from the chains, whereas that, that, that local coffee shop owner is probably your neighbor. His kids go to your school. So the profits stay here, and we want the local businesses to thrive, have big houses, and spend all that money in our economy and create more jobs. Well, and one of the things I always say, which I think is a really important point, is that Starbucks does have locations. I'm not picking on Starbucks. I'm just using them as an example. They do have locations, and they do employ people to work in the coffee shops. But their human resource department, their IT department, their payroll department, all, all their management is sitting in another city, in another town. And so those jobs, those higher-end jobs, are actually going to that city when we support them. And if you support a local coffee shop, then they can expand, and they can hire all those same people in their stores and and their human resources right. and their payroll and all the other jobs would be offered here in Reno, Northern Nevada. That's what it means to have your business headquartered here. Whether you're a local mom and pop or like Edon moving giant businesses here, they want to make sure they're headquartered here. So you're exactly right. All of their staffing is here, all of their operations are here, and all the payroll is here. And that's the jobs that we want to have yeah. in Nevada. Not one segment of the jobs, all the jobs. Yes. Okay, so let's talk about this amazing store. So you've been advocating for that for many years. And then at some point you decided to expand into this retail location. So tell me what your dream was for this store. Well, this is a great end result of having having a buy local for Christmas here in the mall two years ago. I met the mall owner, Rob Roth, great guy, great uh, advocate for our community. And he, he liked what I did by having local vendors in here to buy from for Christmas presents. He said, hey, would you like to have a store? So with his partnership in this store, now we have this great place with over 300 local vendors. There's 3,500 items in here, wow. all locally owned. You can get a gift for everybody from that little baby to a 90-year-old's birthday party uh, in here. There's something for everybody. So it's by category. We have local food, local art, local music, local books, local pottery, local inventions, yeah. local health and wellness, local soap. It's local everything. Yeah. So if somebody... It, and the products yes. are beautiful. I mean, the art is beautiful, the jewelry is beautiful, the pottery is beautiful, the infused glass is beautiful. Um, I brought a group of women here at Christmas, as you know, and they went crazy over the store and the shopping. And you can even, of course, get your local food items like honey and snacks yes. and treats and candies and all those types of things. So how's it going so far? What do you need from the community? Where are you going from here? Well, just remember, if you're going to buy a gift for any occasion, get it from us. That way the money stays here. We write checks at the end of the month. I send out a stack of checks this tall, but I can't wait to write the check to the people that have their products in here. And the supply chain for this store is 100% local. My products have been in the Buy Nevada First store since September of last year, and it's been a wonderful experience. Definitely my business has grown since I have been here in the Buy Nevada First store. I have so much more exposure, and, and it's a place where I can tell people uh, who are on my mailing list to come see my items, come visit me, come visit the store. 
and I'm really proud of this. There's no store like this with this many items, with this many vendors, all local. So you can get your coffee here and your honey here and your candy, mm -hmm. and, and that's your staples, you know, your jams and your jellies. The eggs we can't keep on the shelf. We have a great line of local eggs. They're so fresh, they sell out every day. So people say, how fresh were these eggs? I say, I think they were in the chicken a couple of days ago. <laughs> and they sell out every day, and she just comes in as fast as the chickens can keep them coming in. Well, I, I support what you're doing, obviously. Um, you and I have both been advocates of this for a long time. I just want to get one more question in before we have to wrap it up. There's been a big push here um, in the Reno, Sparks area for consumers to eat at local restaurants and, and buy local products and, and uh, eggs and those types of things. I'd love to see a big push for businesses to buy from other locally owned businesses their actual services. You know, your yes. alarm service, your coffee service, your office supplies, yes. whatever you're using in your business. I'd love to see us work more towards getting businesses to support other businesses for their business needs, not just eating in a locally owned restaurant exactly. as a consumer. So are we going to make that push soon? My campaign is threefold, <laughs> getting consumers to support local businesses, make sure local businesses support other local businesses, and then give, getting our government entities to purchase from local. Through those three campaigns, we can turn the economy around just by supporting local businesses. So you're actually right. Local businesses, you better make sure you're with a local bank, a local insurance company, local office supplies, as local as possible to keep the money here. If you want to be promoted as local, you better darn well be doing it yourself. Thank you very much. I love what you're doing. I love the success of this store, and I hope that everyone will come down here and visit. I promise you will not be disappointed. Thank, Thank you. you.